What is up guys, Rekus here with a new video and today I'm going to give you my top 5 best seasonal skills this season, um, mostly ordered by who impressed me the most this time, who had most impact due to their seasonal skill this season right now. So starting off with number 5. And number 5 goes to Skalita. Skalita actually helped me in quite a lot of AFK stages and she got a nice little buff skill um, called Heart of Unity that increases haste by 8 for all deployed allies if they are alive 10 seconds into the battle. So it takes 10 seconds to activate which is kind of the downside. Um, but also later on she increases the damage dealt by deployed allies by 8% making a pretty viable choice for multiple teams. Uh, just for some AFK stage clears I used her, put her into the team and after those 10 seconds this small boost of 8 haste can really help you just get your ultimate skills out a bit uh, faster to bring those battles to the end. So that is actually very very nice and uh, brings us actually to place 4 and one of the heroes that I have to say unexpectedly impressed me the most and for a long time in the season I didn't even really know why. And this hero is Roan. Roan is actually mainly used to give your heroes energy and he did that in this season very very well because his skill is called Energy Surge. And what it does is it gives you 90 energy every 3 seconds after the battle starts until the first ultimate is cast which makes it impo possible for him to just get his first ulti very very fast and um, give your other heroes also energy very fast which is the role he takes in a fight. In a fight like this you see him standing next to Cessia here. Cessia needs a ton of energy to get that. He's already at the ult providing the energy that she so desperately needs to get her first ult going and uh, he's already closing in on the next ult which is just such a nice feat. Him getting to an ult a lot faster actually than uh, the rest of the team can really help you get through some tough fights. Through this one however I don't think we get that way but still I mainly wanted to demonstrate to you guys how he can be helpful just by giving an ally energy that he so desperately needs to do the ult early on. So this really shows how a nice synergy of the seasonal skill together with the main kit of the hero can bring him into some other synergies with the team and make him a very valuable asset in PvE and for some teams in PvP as well. And now we go to number 3 which is actually a hero you already just saw. Um, a very nice partner to um, put together with Rowan in PvE. And that is of course Cessia. We just saw her. She can be very insane if you haven't used her this season. You might just want to do so. Uh, well, on the last stage we showed, she didn't really take the prize. Well, she did really take the prize. She was just on the enemy team doing so. Um, she is pretty great. And the reason for that is um, one of the things people always say uh, tell you about Cessia is she is slow. And so her seasonal skill actually grants her haste which makes her faster which is nice. So gain 16 crit, uh, crit and 13 haste when there are no enemies within a 2 tile radius for the last 3 seconds. For her standing pretty much in the back getting energy fed by Roan this is often the case. Oftentimes there are no enemies near her and she just can profit from this massive crit and massive haste buff and just get her um, had to get her minion out, Mr. Carlyle, a bit earlier, a bit faster and with the crit a bit more devastating. So she's definitely a hero you want to have your eyes on and definitely somebody that helped me through a lot of those AFK stages and made it possible for me to get some more loot pretty early on. So definitely use her. With that, let's check out number two. And number two might be a bit unexpected, but we already saw him in the same team. Smokey and Murky sharing place two together. Why is that the case? Well, Smokey and Murky, very nice seal actually. Uh, one of the units that we use for both healing and giving damage. Sometimes, if you have the Mythic Plus with Ring Potion, even dealing damage with all the true damage. And um, this is of course already pretty strong ability. We have a very strong damage buffer slash heal unit here um, that was, was an asset for many teams now that we have a bit of a Mauler meta 
even more so, even more so you want to use him. If you use Alsa together with him, that is nice. There are a lot of nice opportunities to get Smokey into the game right now. And a lot of teams where you just might need another Wilder uh, Mauler and say, okay, I'm going to take Smokey in there. And so what did they do with the seasonal skill? Well, gave him a nice buff. Every five seconds increased the attack by 13% and haste by 11, per, uh, 11 for three seconds for the ally who has dealt the most damage and has a HP ratio of above 75%. Also the reason we used him in combination with Sessia in that team. You can also replace Sessia with Odie, by the way. And this gets buffed later on. We can see Ray down here, attack bonus 20%, haste bonus 18, quite massive. On top of all the nice stuff we already have there. We have all the heal, we have all of the aroma, we have um, a haste buff in there already. So we get all of this on this nice support unit, cramped down into his skill set, which makes him just a super valuable asset for any Mauler team and really for most boss damage teams as well because you see him always in there and the seasonal skill certainly made him even better. Now coming to our place one, I think you already know it. I think you already know it, um, who this is going to be. So I'm going to make no effort in hiding it. Let's show him. Here he is. And it's of course Odie. I think the most impactful hero that we have seen this season. Um, partly because of his seasonal skill, really. His seasonal skill made him the most desired damage dealer that we have. He is the most desired damage dealer. You see him in like nearly every boss comp. You see him in PvE. You see him clearing AFK stages. You sometimes see him in PvP. So this hero is now really all over the place. Quite fitting that I just now upgraded him to Paragon. And his seasonal skill certainly did that no harm. He is has one of the best season skills, maybe. At least a very, very nice one that is quite fitting for him. And it is fires an extra projectile after every three normal attacks that hit the target, dealing 140% damage to the target. And for him, of course, it is a bit nicer uh, as well because we have a few skills on him, like triple tap, that are considered normal attacks. Um, it's actually um, specifically set here. The X from these skills are considered normal attacks. Um, so there we have synergy with Arcane Barrage here as well. Um, which means his skill set specifically synergizes a lot more with this Arcane Barrage um, than other heroes might. So that, of course, is a big advantage and uh, makes those blow darts that he has there a lot more devastating than you might think. So Odi this season probably the best damage dealer that we have. And I just saw the team that I used. We can also use OD in such a team, I will show you. So nearly the same team as before, replace Sessia with OD. We go into battle and on this one, we want to do a bit of manual targeting. Um, already screwed that up a little bit, I have to acknowledge. We use the same strategy, feeding with Roan, just OD. And now what we want to do is we want to really use his ulti alone target the threats that are on the board. In this case, this is probably Sessia that is um, the most devastating hero, having her healed up there and not very good for us. Uh, we can get another hit out there. Probably want to go... Uh, either we're going Brutus or we're going Iron. Would have preferred to go with that on uh, Iron, actually. <laughs> if we lose that, that's quite bad. No! <laughs> Ah, the Damien actually got us. But you can see, we can target single heroes actually quite nice. On a few attempts, we might have actually won that right now. I wasn't quite that lucky, mainly wanted to show you guys that. Uh, make sure that you have the manual targeting on when you use Odie like this. And uh, you can actually activate that in battle. Um, and there we have uh, tap to cast ultimate and below that. Auto battle, only select heroes. Activate that and then you will have those little gear wheels above your heroes where you can select which ones should use their ulti automatically and which ones don't. And then you can auto uh, can manually select targets with Odi. Wasn't quite that lucky there. Also greetings to Ragnar who was sitting there, randomly found him. And now we come to three honorable mentions that I also found. The first honorable mention is one that we have to talk about immediately now that I talked about the smoky skill. And this is of course Mary Lee. Former Queen of Dream Realm, yeah, slightly dethroned, we have to say. Because, um, well, with the changes to true damage and the way this works, uh, well, Lilith Games actually promised us that in the endless mode, uh, Merrily will shine again. So well, stay tuned for that. We don't know her, her charm skill yet, so this is also something to look out for. But she got the same skill as Odium. With the difference um, 
that she doesn't have a nice skill like triple tap that also counts as normal attacks to activate it a bit more often. So in the starting position, she's not that much worse than Odie. Um, she's actually in a pretty good spot with her Arcane Barrage. And I think once we get into the Endless Boss, uh, if Lilith Games if, uh AFK journey here is actually true, uh, saying true things. We might see her pop up again, and then her season skill will be a big asset to that. Um, but till then, she's a bit dethroned by Odie, and we'll have to wait and see what comes. Next one. Bit of an unexpected one, because we didn't really see too much use of her. But personally, I really like Cassidy's skill. Cassidy got the same skill as Rowan, Energy Surge with the 90 energy. And uh, we made a review about her. And her thing is really the Tidal Blessing, which uh, grants your heroes the buff of Tidal Strength. Uh, a very nice buff that you can hear a lot more about in the review I made about her. Um, but just her biggest um, flaw was that she doesn't really gain energy fast enough to be relevant. Now we have this energy gain um, a seasonal skill here that gives her a lot of energy to gain her to her ulti pretty pretty fast and I think that is a very nice take on that because that is one of the major flaws that I identified that I um, wrote down that I mentioned in my review was that she was so slow in gaining her first ult. This is fixed now so if you want to make use of her you can try. I recommend you give her another try and with that we come to our last honorable mention and that is Thorin. Uh, Thorin actually was a very nice tank slash support unit uh, because what he could do was um, buff the damage that enemies receive. We can see um, the buff end to energy uh, to the damage enemies receive. Um, actually, quite nice in there. And the thing that was very very interesting for him was not only that you get this 13% more damage received for the rest of the battle, but, uh, which later has upgrade to 17%, but you also have revive abilities, you have reflect damage, you have all of that at the same time. And now this ability of making the enemy receive more damage actually gets amplified within the seasonal skill Mark of Agony, where we increase the damage by a further 14% for 3 seconds uh, after we deal a normal attack, so we'll re refresh that pretty swiftly, pretty often and making him a lot stronger in that case. The reason he's only an honorable mention, because I think he would have made the list instead of Skalita, um, which was a bit of the fight there, <clears throat> is actually that he's not really used too much. He's used for the Croker boss fight, there we see him a little bit, but really outside of that, other heroes take his place at the moment, and I think when you need a tank, okay, you can use him. Oftentimes people use Brutus and Antanra, and I find myself using Brutus and Antanra and the combination of those two a lot more often, a lot more situations than I use Thorin. Thorin, absolute monster in PvP, but there this skill doesn't really help him too much, so then again, this makes him an honorable mention. Have I found all of the heroes that you like to use as well? Is there somebody that you think I've missed? Let me know down in the comments. I think Sometimes this is a bit of a subjective list. I like haste buffs. Um, I like some of those heroes quite a lot. Let me know which hero you enjoyed the most down in the comments below. And with that, I wish you a great day. We'll see us in the next one.